droidnerds.com here with Parrot and their new asteroid car receiver. Um, this is Brian, so Hi. happy to talk to us about it. Yeah, so we've got, uh, what we've got here is the first Android-based uh, car receiver. Uh, so what that means is you have the capability of all of the internet functionality your phone does. Um, again, with that you've got internet radio, you've got geolocation, you've got Google Maps, you've got uh, points of interest that are live in real time. So what this does is connects through uh, like a USB key, a 3G connection. Uh, and what that means is all of the information you're getting is live. Uh, we also have our, our built-in voice recognition that we're known for, uh, which means if I hit a button, it'll mute the music and say, who would you like to call? I just say somebody's name and it's going to connect me to that person. Um, we've taken it a step further with voice recognition and now you can search all of your music using voice recognition. So I hit a button and it's going to say, you know, I'll hear a prompt and I say Michael Jackson. It will not only search all of the devices I have connected, but it'll search uh, web radio and it'll find, you know, similar artists or the exact artist and I can choose which source I want to start playing from. Um, so it's a really cool unit, we're pretty excited about it, and uh, with Android I think we're, we're open for a lot of possibilities. Uh, the third party app developers are out there right. making Android apps every day, uh, so we're pretty excited about it. When do you think it's going to be able to be available for purchase? Uh, we're thinking Q2, uh, nothing in cement now, but Q2. Where can we get it from? Uh, you'll be able to get it from uh, all the places that we, we currently sell product. Uh, okay. The Best Buys, the local independent installers, uh, Amazon, you know, BestBuy.com, our website. Will it work in any car or is it going to be model specific? No, it's not model specific. The single DIN uh, is, is the standard that this is called, a single ISO. So that leaves it open for a lot of uh, aftermarket dash kits for every vehicle that's out there. Very cool. Thank you, that's pretty cool. Sure, thanks. Uh, so I'll go through some of the menu options we have here. For example, uh, the phone book is, uh, is a, our primary one, which is uh, basically the ability to make phone calls using your receiver. Uh, so you don't have to touch your phone. It's a completely hands-free unit. I'm just going to hit uh, one button here. It will say, who do you, who would you like to call? I say somebody's name and it automatically connects me. Uh, we'll go down one here and we've got your standard FM AM tuner, uh, just like every other radio out there does iPod, we have connectivity, uh, there's four USB ports on this unit, so you can connect iPod, uh, you know, your your standard MP3 player, your USB dongle, um, so any, any USB peripheral that you'd like to connect. Uh, again, this is the USB accessibility. SD card, this unit actually, uh, the faceplate is removable, and right behind the faceplate is a full SD slot. So if you want to take a 30 gig, you know, SD card, load it up with some music, put it in here and forget about it, uh, you can play all of your music from that. Uh, your line in, which is your basic, you know, headphone, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. And then Bluetooth. You can stream Bluetooth music to this. Meaning if I pick up my iPhone and I have it connected to the unit as I do when I turn my car on, I can launch Pandora, put my phone back in my pocket, and it's going to stream that music wirelessly. Deezer is an example of a, sort of an internet radio. Uh, this is more of a European app, but the example here would be uh, something similar to like Pandora. So you'd launch Pandora and you'd, you'd play your internet radio iCoyote is, uh, I guess the, the equivalent in the U.S. would be Trapster, which is a speed camera and, uh, and radar alert. And then we've got live radio. Live radio is uh, similar to iHeartRadio, where you can listen to your home radio station wherever you're at. And then maps. This is uh, this is like the Google Maps of uh, of the iPhone. So basically, you've got you know points of interest that are live. You've got uh, you know anything you want to search for. Uh, you can go through bars, restaurants, whatever you're looking for. And then fuel fuel prices. So if I want to find the cheapest fuel price within the vicinity of me, everybody does. Right. I, I pull it up, and it's actually going to find all of the all the fuel prices, the lowest to me, and I can get directions on how to how to get to that place. Sweet. Available parking. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. And then installer. This leaves it available to uh, to load more apps onto this device uh, from the the Android market. We've got your standard audio effects. Uh, you know your seven band equalizer, your crossovers, the ability to uh, hook up a subwoofer and an external amplifier. So as far as the the audio file in your life, uh, this this gets it for them. Uh, it's got the four by fifty five watt, so that's a little bit higher than your standard your standard settings that you can go through, of course. So that's uh, that's it. Pretty sweet.